Hello class, uh, this is the fourth revision class for your batch and for banking laws and for uh, this revision class I have taken up one topic that is customer bank relationship. This is very simple topic and it is one small topic which is given in that unit where all the topics related to negotiable instrument act is given. I believe it is unit 5 only. I was not carrying my syllabus but I think it is unit 5 and this is one small topic which I did not take up in the class so I have taken up it here. It is a very simple unit and you will be able to understand with the help of notes and uh, this video lectures. You already know I just wanted to you know give you one something in writing that is why I have given the notes and this video lecture I am giving it to you because I couldn't take up this topic in the class. Okay, let us start. But before starting I want to tell you that you already know everything related to this topic. It's a very simple and small topic. Now this topic would deal about customer bank relationship as the uh, title of the topic suggests you and if I talk about customer bank relationship here I am talk, uh, talking about the fact that uh, what are the different relationships which a customer and the bank shares for example if you open your account in a bank then you become the customer for that bank and that bank and you have certain kinds of relationships Okay, so in this topic, we'll be studying about different kind of relationship which you are uh, having with your bank. Majorly, there are eight nine types of relationship which the customer has with its bank. The first relationship which we are covering up is relationship of debtor and creditor. The customer is having a relationship with its bank in the form that. Uh, Sometimes the customer becomes the debtor and sometimes the creditor becomes, uh, uh, the bank becomes the debtor. Okay, we will understand it uh, after reading this these pointers. When a customer opens an account with a bank and if the account has a credit balance, then the relationship is that of the debtor and the creditor. The banker becomes the debtor and the customer becomes the creditor. That is what I am trying to tell you that when you deposit money in the bank, then you are giving your money to someone else. So you become the creditor, udhar dene wala, or bank bana debtor that is this ko udhar diya. And when you take loan, the opposite is there. The customer. The customer has taken loan, so the bank becomes the creditor because bank is giving you the loan and the customer becomes the debt, uh, debtor. I hope it is clear. Now the relationship of a pleasure and pledging. How the bank and the uh, customer shares this relationship? The relationship between customer and the banker can be of that of a pleasure and pledging. This happens when customer pledges or promises certain assets or security with the bank in order to get a loan. So in, uh, and in this case, the customer becomes the pledger and the bank becomes the pledgee. And under this uh, uh, agreement, the asset or security will remain with the bank until the customer repays the loan. Now, there are two types of good uh, property, movable, immovable. For immovable property, we mortgage the property. Girvi rakhna jisem kehte common bhasha mein. For movable property, we pledge the property. For raising some kind of credit. So when a customer gives some kind of movable property as a security to the bank for raising loan, then the bank and the customer shares the relationship of a pledger and pledgee. And the customer who takes the loan and gives the property, movable property as security is the pleasure and the bank which ta uh, takes the movable property as security and gives the loan is the pledge. Now relationship between the bank and the customer in the form of licensor and licensee. The relationship between banker and customer can be that of a licensor and licensee. This happens when the banker gives a sale deposit locker to the customer. So the banker becomes licensor and the customer becomes the licensee when the sale deposit locker is given to the customer then this type of relationship happens. Now, bailer and bailee. 
when do they share the relationship of bailer and bailey when the customer gives some kind of uh, Firstly, what is a relationship of bailment called? When one person gives uh, his or her movable goods to the other person for keeping that goods till uh, a specific purpose or till a specific time, that relationship is called bailment. Now, the person who gives the good is called the bailer, and the person who uh, keeps the good is called the bailee. So, if the customer is giving goods to the uh, banker, for some specific purpose or specific time, the customer becomes the bailer and the customer banker becomes the bailee. Hypothecator and hypothecating this type of relationship the customer and banker shares when the customer gives certain kind of movable or non movable property to, to the bank as security, then the customer and bank share this relationship the customer becomes the hypothecator and the banker becomes the hypothecate. Basically, this is also done by the customer when he is trying to take loan from the bank. The relationship of a trustee and beneficiary. The trustee holds property for the benefit of the people. This is the principle of trust agreement. Okay. So, if the customer deposits security of all valuables with the banker for safe custody, banker becomes the trustee and the customer becomes the beneficiary. This would happen when customer deposits some kind of valuables in the locker. Then the banker is the trustee of that uh, valuable, uh, I mean article which the customer has given and the customer is the beneficiary. Now, the seventh type of relationship is principal and agent. The bank sometimes acts as an agent, excuse me, of the uh, uh, customer and the customer becomes the principal of the agent that is the banker now in how many times uh, in what type of transaction does this principal agent relationship is uh, shared by the customer and the banker respectively i have already told you when the customer uh, banker is collecting the salary for example i am an employee of aeg if my salary is deposited in the bank account then i cannot say that i haven't got the salary for this month why because my salary has already been taken by my agent via bank account okay if a dividend it has to be given to someone or has to be received by someone uh, has to be received by me if the electricity bills are to be paid, if, if any kind of bill is to be paid, if the bank is doing all such work, then that bank, that relationship which the customer and the bank has is that of agent and principal. Advisor and client. When the bank obviously gives advices to the uh, client or the customer unofficially or officially for investment or something then they have the relationship of advisor and client now other miscellaneous banker customer relationship is obligation to honor check as long as there is sufficient balance in, and anyone uh, i have written check in favor of mr a then my bank has an obligation to honor that check Secrecy of customer's account. My account does. My bank is bound not to tell anyone my how much deposit I have in my account or what are the details of my account. Bankers' right to claim incidental uh, charges. Now, banker right. Our banker has the right to claim charges from me for all the work which they are doing. Okay. Law of limitation on bank deposit. Under the law of limitation, generally a customer gives up the right to recover the amount due at a banker if he has not operated his account since last 10 years. I hope this lecture is clear to you. It was quite simple and elementary, but this topic I haven't, I am repeating it. I have I was not able to cover it in the class because of all such COVID-19 uh, thing which happened. So now I have covered it here in this lecture and I hope it is very simple and you have understood. Thank you class.